on Friday Fire Night tonight, a genuine grudge match between two men who cannot stand the sight of each other. I'm not really taking anything Tony says with too much credibility. Who's Carl Evan knocked out? Wonderful right hand! I've been putting people to sleep. Big red cross! Asleep, one shot. I'm genuinely world class. Tony is not, and he's going to get knocked back out. Terrific shot from Carl Frotch! There's the power! Lovely right hand, and an uppercut. Beautiful combination from Dodson. This is a grudge match, all right. It has become personal. It's personal and it will be sorted out once and for all tonight. Carl Frosch defends his British and Commonwealth super middleweight titles against Tony Dodson. Carl Frotch is feeling spiteful ahead of his fight with Tony Dodson. I'm taking him very seriously. He's going to come with me in business and trust me, he's going to, he's going to get the full Carl Frotch on the night and it's going to work. But has his brash talk merely fired up his latest challenger? It just gives me that little bit of extra level to, you know, want to hate him, hate him even more. They've been scheduled to meet three times previously, but Dodson's withdrawals to injury have drawn little sympathy from Frotch. I had a bad car crash, which could have been really fatal. Three times he's pulled out due to alleged injuries. And they've got some nuggets on the telly talking about how good he is and how much he's going to knock me out and how much I'm ducking and diving him. When I could have been paralysed. Now Dodson's more than fully fit. 20 kilo weighted vests every day on mountains to get my titles back off you. The Liverpudlian's been training in Belfast. As he bids to reclaim the British title, he never lost in the ring. I had to give it the title, but that's all history now I'm back. I'm back to where I want to be, you know, and I need to put things right. Dodson's always had ability, as he showed when upsetting highly ranked American Brian Barboza five long years ago. And it's the performance of his career to date. I'm not going to worry about Carl Frost, I've, you know, I've got people like him. The intimidation factor ain't going to work with me, I'll go on the lines then, I don't care. Although Frotch is one of our fastest rising stars. Fresh from knocking out Brian McGee. Terrific shot from Carl Frotch, there's the power! The locals bidding to claim the Lonsdale belt for Keats. Winning the belt and defending it twice doesn't mean anything if I let the lights of the Scouser come over and take it off me. So that ain't happening, I'm going to give him a hiding. And they're both looking to settle a bitter feud. It's not going to go the distance. I'll take him out mid to late stoppage. But if I catch him early, the fight will be over. He's not one of the exceptional talents he thinks he is. I think he'd eat himself if he's a bar of chocolate. Johnny, is that all for show or is there genuine no, bad blood? This is serious. This isn't a game. This is very, very serious. I'm thinking, you know, someone could get hurt because these guys truly believe they belong at, at top British level. Carl Frotch says all the right things to wind uh, Dodson up, and he's doing the right things, because if you can get an opponent not to think about his tactics, you've got half the battle won. Frotch with the added pressure of uh, winning the Lonsdale belt outright if he's successful tonight. Um, as far as how it could affect the fight, this bad blood, what, what implications will it have? It works in Frotch's favour, because, if he, as I said, if he can get Dodson not to think about his tactics, get mad, get angry and just want to rip his head off, should I say, then it works in Fox's so favour. When we've seen Fox, uh, Fox win fights, he's winning with fights coming on to him. When he boxed McGee, he came on to him, took him out with beautiful uppercuts uh, and that's what he wants to get Dodson doing. Did he elevate himself to a world class with his performance against Brian McGee? Yes, he did. The shots were class shots. No matter what you think of him, now and again he forced a sleeping fight, but the shots were accurate, class. He, he, they weren't lucky shots. They weren't, he didn't, McGee didn't just happen to duck in the right place. Frotch knew what he was doing. He slipped, he slid, he, he, he picked his shots, and he was just cold, a cold fighter, a cold champion. And he, he, I, I had to rate him on this fight. He had no mercy whatsoever. Well, it's all about tonight. Um, and his opponent, Tony Dodson, is, is lucky he's here at all. Yeah. He is lucky, but, but as you see, when we see Frotch fight, Frotch at his best can be an outstanding fighter. Uh, and, and, and Dawson just does, he, he, has, he can't forget that. Dawson's got to be smart. Dawson's got to be clever. He's got to be cool. Because if he is in, the same thing that happened to McGee will, will happen will happen to, to Dawson. Dawson at his best, you know, he's a dangerous, strong uh, tactician, and he knows what he's doing.
Was he back to his best in the fight against Jamie Hearn last time out? That wasn't his best. He was close to his best. We, we, we got, a, we got a, a tinge of his best. But I think tonight's fight will bring the best out of him. This will be the best we see of Dodson. It'll be a cracker. When he threat, puts the shots together, they're very strong. They're very accurate. And he doesn't give up. He's a good and excellent finisher. When he burst onto the scene, there was a lot made of him. Is he ready to, to fight at this level now, do you think, Dodson? I think the layoff for Dobson was the best thing for him because mentally it made him mature. Uh, I think at the time when he got all the all the action, all the uh, uh, hysteria about him, he was a young boy. He had a young boy's mind, but he could fight like a man. Now he can. He thinks like a man, uh, and that's very important for this fight. Well, it will be a hostile atmosphere for him. The fans here all want Carl Frosch to uh, win in front of the home crowd. Around about four and a half thousand fans into the uh, Nottingham Arena here. One interested spectator hit the headlines last week. David Hay getting the applauded side of the autographs ringside. He has been for the last few minutes. Can Frotch join him as he bids for perhaps a world title shot in the not too distant future? Ian Dark, Jim Watt ringside for us this evening. Our MC, Mike Goodall. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome viewers to join us live and exclusive on Sky Sports uh, Friday Fight Night to the fabulous Nottingham Arena. This is the main event of the evening and please welcome firstly to the ring the challenger for the title from Liverpool, Tony Dodson! Well he knows he's away from home, Tony Dodson tonight looking to complete what would be an extraordinary journey. He was nearly killed in a car crash. This fight had to be postponed three times because of his injuries. He was in agony with his back. He thought he would never fight again. He's come back from all of that, and tonight he looks to regain the British title that he never lost in the ring and get a Commonwealth belt as well. But he starts as a big underdog, Jim. Yeah, he does start as an underdog. If the fight had taken place originally two years ago, I think he would have been a slight favourite that night, but in the two years that have passed, he's done very little. Carl Frotch has really been making a name for himself. He's had some hot performances, some cold performances, Dodson, but I think he feels last time out against Jamie Hare. Everything clicked, everything came together. I think that's the reason he's here tonight. He really fancies this job. He feels didn't lose his title in the ring, so he is still British champion. It's up to Carl Frotch to prove different. It's not up to him to prove otherwise. As I say, it really looks as though he fancies the job. Well, he says, I'll give Frotch a torrid time. No matter what the experts say, I'm going to knock him out. His camp are in for an almighty shot. There has been a real war of words in the build-up to this fight. Carl Frotch, the hometown hero, is about to enter the arena and he will get an almighty reception here. He's big news in this city of Nottingham. And now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, please welcome to the ring uh, Nottingham's very own champion, Carl the Cobra Frost. There's a crowd of about 5,000 fans in here waiting to see Carl Frotch, who is unbeaten in 19 fights. He is the British and Commonwealth champion and he's ranked high in the world by three of the four governing bodies. I think you can say he's in the zone. conference in the build-up to this fight 
crotch said to Dotson, I can see you're scared. I can see it in your eyes. You're going to be knocked out. You're weak. I'm strong. These two fighters do resent each other. There have been accusations and counter accusations. Crotch feeling that Dodson has been running scared from him. It's all so much banter, really, so much hot air. What really counts is what happens in the next hour here. This is what the tail of the tape says. It's Crotch just barges into Dodson to continue the animosity. Crotch is three years older at 29. Massive fight, the biggest in the career so far of Tony Dodson. It's just half an inch smaller. Both of them well inside the 12 stone weight limit. Crotch unbeaten so far in those 19 fights. Dodson's had 24. He has lost three and drawn one. Crotch with extra power, a 78% knockout ratio. He does have a dig. Ladies and gentlemen, the officials appointed for this contest by the British Boxing Board of Control, the steward in charge, Mr. Tony Bean, the timekeeper, Mr. Harry Foxall, and the judges scoring the contest on the 10 must system, Mr. Mark Green, Mr. Ian John Lewis, and Mr. Marcus McDonald, all of England. And uh, when the action begins, the third man in the ring and this evening, our referee from Preston, Mr. Phil Edwards. Live and exclusive on Sky Sports Friday Fight Night, this is the main event of the evening from Nottingham Arena, where Hennessy Sports, in association with Help a Nottinghamshire Child and sponsored by DCM Money Solutions and Jabware, proudly present a contest of 12 three-minute rounds to decide the Super Middleweight Championship of Great Britain and the Commonwealth. Between and introducing the boxers, and firstly, fighting out of the blue corner, he wears the light blue trunks trimmed with white. He comes from Liverpool and weighed in at 11 stone, 12 pound. He brings to the ring a 24 by professional record, 20 wins, 12 wins coming by way of knockout with three losses and one draw. He's the former undefeated British super middleweight champion. Please welcome Tony Dodson! And across the ring, ladies and gentlemen, in the red corner, wearing the black trunks and weighing in at 11 stone, 12 pounds, 7 ounces. He has a perfect record of 19 wins from 19 contests. 15 wins coming my way of the big KO. Ladies and gentlemen, he's the current British and Commonwealth champion and tonight makes the third defence of his British title and the seventh defence of his Commonwealth title presenting the current British and Commonwealth super middleweight champion from Nottingham, Carl the Cobra Frog. The referee, Mr. Phil Edwards, who will now give his final instructions to both boxers. Gentlemen, I've spoken to you both in the dressing room. You know exactly what I expect of you. I want a good, clean contest. Follow my instructions at all times. Touch gloves, good luck to you both. 12 three-minute rounds for the Super Middleweight Championship of Great Britain and the Commonwealth. Well, this is where all the talking has to stop between these two. Frotch ranked number eight in the world on the independent rankings. Dodson, 72 at the moment. Frotch gets a Lonsdale belt to keep forever if he completes what would be a fourth British Championship win here. He's in the black trunks, the hometown hero with massive support here, though Dodson's brought a few with him as well from Liverpool so it's a cracking atmosphere here in this Nottingham arena Dodson an underdog but very bullish about his chances he says he's now at a peak 
physically and mentally after all his problems over the last couple of years following his car crash. I think Proch was the one who started the verbal warfare, that nice clip in the chin from Dodson and the both seemed to land at the same time. Dodson's was a better shot yet he's getting through. You can always pick holes in Carl Proch's technique, his defence is leaking, it's very leaky in the opening round here. And Dodson really going for it early on here, looking to unsettle Proch. He says he would have taken this fight for less than £5,000 even. It's not about the money. He really wants to come here and put Proch away in front of his own fans. Well, I've always had the feeling with Carl Proch, if he needed to do better, he could do better in all the times I've seen him. But I think tonight he's going to have, I think the gum shield just come out yeah, here. And it was the jab that did it, the left jab of Dodson that knocked his gum shield clean out. It's an unsettling start for Proch. Dodson quicker. Well, it might have been Dodson's gum shirt, in fact, that's come out in all of that. No, it is Dodson's gum shirt, beg your pardon. Yeah, but Froch is the one with the leaky defence here in the opening round. You pick up bad habits and you think these bad habits could be tightened up when the time comes, but they can't. But it looks like he's, he, he wants to rely on his power and catch Dodson with one of these bombs as early as possible. He's setting himself for the right hand. Roger had a great win last time, knocking out Brian McGee in the 11th round. Eye-catching victory, that one. Dodson feels, Jim, that he's, he's been hardened by his experiences over the last couple of years. Yeah, well, I think Dodson had a big performance when he was only 21 and people started gauging him about the performance against Brian Barboza and it was unfair. He wasn't ready to keep that kind of form going. But he's 26 now, he's mature and he really seems up for this. Dodson again with that, sorry, Frotch with the left hand low, trying to wind up the right hand. I didn't think we'd see that tonight, I thought we'd, we'd have seen a tighter defence. Slow start this from Crotch, the British and Commonwealth champion. It's a very low guard, you wonder if he might pay for that sometime. There's never any suggestion though that his chin is in any way dodgy and he does have power. I don't think he really has any weaknesses, Carl Frotch. I, think, I just think it's in his temperament sometimes. He wants to show the other fellow that he doesn't really respect him. He drops his hands, hands his chin out, and bites the punches. But that was a good round in my book for the challenger, and he's smiling. No showboating here, no throwing the head, no showing your chin. Coming behind that left hand, right? The yeah. double job, the double job's going to get you in for a Welcome back to the Nottingham right Arena. Right. All right. Good start by Welcome Tony on. Dodson from Liverpool. You got me there? Yeah, well, he's the one who's up for this. Uh, Carl Frotz, the defence that we've criticised in the past. I mean, it's such an important fight and such an important time in his career. I'm surprised his defence was so lax in the opening round. Frotch in the black trunks. A little jab from him. Was he off balance there, Dodson, or was there more to it than that? I think it was just a balancing. I'm not sure if the, the feet came together there. I don't think there was a punch landing. See, the way Frotch leans away from punches, if you double the jab and throw the right hand, as Dawson's just done, you're going to get a result because when you've pulled the head back, there's nowhere else to take it. Frotch good enough in his amateur days to be a world championship bronze medalist for Nottingham. Wants to win one of the big world titles as well. But so far, it's just a little bit of a danger that he could be caught cold by Dodson's fast, intense start, is there a little bit of complacency from Frotch? See, I think it's part of his act, he likes to show that he's not troubled by anything you've got or anything you can do, he wants to look casual as though 
it's, it's a kind of arrogance he's got which has made him successful so far but it's dangerous there's no question he has talent power all the ingredients he just has this little funny part in his nature he will feel despite the start from Dodson that he has things perfectly under control in there I'm sure of that well, he had some uh, uncomfortable moments against De Bruyne McGee, but he always felt everything was under control. He could put the pedal down when he wanted. I don't have that impression yet. It's only early days, of course. He does realise he can turn everything around with that right hand he has, that right hand lead. Starting to get that jab off, Frotch. I think it's just breaking Dodson's concentration. It's not really landing as a, as a weapon. I think he's just trying to, to break the concentration, they're flicking it out. Dodson has had setbacks along the way, he lost to Barazan Dabitam, the Birmingham-based fighter. That was a bit of a shock, and then a couple of ninth-round stoppages, although one was on cuts. Seemed to lose his way, really, after being something of a teenage star with a lot of big rave notices and a lot expected of him. A lot of threats, a lot of feints in this round, but not too many real clean punches landed. So Frotch has certainly woken up his ideas a little bit. Good job. Just beginning to settle, you sense, Frotch here. I get the feeling that Frotch is physically the stronger of the two, and I think that may be the deciding factor as this goes on. But credit to Dodson, he's doing okay but uh, not quite as good as he was in the opening round. Little word between them at the end of the round, too. Throw it in. You, well, showed, showed, it. Him. you showed it in once and you threw a right hand, right? Jabs, jab all day long. Every couple of seconds I want a jab in his boat. I want your elbows in a bit more and I want you lighter on your feet. Lighter on your feet, elbows in more, head movement and shooting that jab, all right? And he'll walk onto the right hand, okay? Yeah. Don't wing with nothing and don't show him that uppercut, all right? The jab, bust him up, up and down. Well, don't, don't, with don't, Carl don't and the right hand will go off it, all right? Good job, yeah. Yeah, put your legs out. Well, okay. good advice as just usual from Robert McCracken, but will Carl Frost take it? I don't know. Middle, Time will tell. Right? Nottingham that's produced a fair few fighters down the years. Wally Swift, Dave Needham, Harold Graham came from here though, came to be associated with Sheffield. Kirkland Lang, who actually beat Roberto Duran in his career. More latterly, Jav Kalik and the Booth brothers as well. There was Slugger O'Toole from Nottingham as well in years gone by. I think maybe Dodson has tumbled, he's going to have to put punches together, twos and threes. Frotch is pulling away from single punches and he's very dangerous with the right hand lead. Yep. I think that one landed a little bit high in Dodson there. Just starting to find his rhythm, Carl Frotch after an awkward opening round. Dodson looking to whip up a storm. Nicely pick punch there on the back foot break, from front. Break, 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 break! Time out! Come here, both of you. Come here. When I say break, no punches, you understand me? Break when I say, says Ref Bill Edwards. I think Dodson just a little bit weary. I think he's, he's felt the power in these shots. They haven't landed cleanly. Some of he's caught on his arms. But the power has been there and he knows he cannot make mistakes. Not too impressed with Frotch's work up close. But he's wasting a lot, Dodson, at the moment. Very, very eager. The single jabs in the main from Frotch. It's a better shot that time from Dodson. A little left hand chopping counter. quite a lot of debate hasn't there Jim about how good Carl Frotch is and opinions do vary well I have a fairly high opinion of him I don't, I don't think he believes me in some of my commentaries but I just feel 
he does things wrong on purpose, it's part of his style, he takes chances, he hangs his chin out, look, drops his hands. But I've no, no question in my mind, he is ready to move on from domestic level, he is heading towards world class. Sometimes I just wish he would tighten things up a little bit. I guess he just fights the way he fights, doesn't he? I, I, I guess a style is like a DNA almost, doesn't it? Yeah, but and having said that, I mean that the fans react well to it. It is exciting to watch. See, I think the big difference when Flores lands the punch, he dodges and that's a beautiful shot. That was the shot that floored Brian McGee. Exact same way, a hand up and cut. And have lured him into that. And there's another good shot, and Dodson goes down, picking the punches quite carefully. Flux nods to the crowd almost nonchalantly as Dodson takes this count. Is he going to get up? No, he isn't. It is all over. Tony Dodson is knocked out. Pearl Frotch retains the British and Commonwealth Super Middleweight titles over and over quickly as well in round three. And Frotch gives the Nottingham fans exactly what they came for. Yeah, well, I think another performance from Carl Frotch, but if you want, you can nitpick the technique the way you go about it but again the message is I'm Carl Frotch I'll do it the way I want to do it and that's the way I wanted to do it and the job's done and rather convincing like that the beautiful uppercut to set that up with a tremendous body shot no way Tony Dodson to, to come back from that he's done it again 20 unbeaten fights now for Carl Frotch and already ranked high in the world number 4 in fact by the WBO and WBC 7 by the IBF. He's chasing Joe Calzaghi. It's hard to see that particular fight coming off. Well, Tony Dodson, he had a lot to say before the fight, but I'm afraid his challenge lasted just three rounds after what was a bright start for him. Well, it was almost a replica of the punch that floored. Brian McGee, look how nicely he picked that, he knows, he saw Dodson coming forward, he knew at this point what punch he was throwing, where the punch was going, bang on, Dodson did well to take that, but probably that's what brought the hands up in his defence, and look at that body shot, right into the short rib, can't toughen up things down there, and that just took everything away from Dodson, beautiful punch, just you see the lever, he's through the right hand, which was partially blocked, then turned the hips and shoulders with the left hook to the body, a beautiful punch. Quality shot, wasn't it, Jimmy? It just knocked everything out of Dodson. Yeah, well, that's the, the, the punch that looks so good on the punch bag, the way the right shoulder comes through, then you're in a position to get full leverage into the left hand to the body, everything behind it, the hips and the shoulders, well set with the legs, a beautiful punch, as soon as that landed, you knew it was all over. And he has a Lonsdale belt to keep now, he can put it on the mantelpiece, back at home Carl Frotch and that he would regard as landmark number one he says he wants to do it the old-fashioned way British Commonwealth well European title that would beckon certainly for him and beyond that maybe a big world title chance for Carl Frotch great night for him here he's done it in three rounds Ladies and gentlemen, after 2 minutes 55 seconds of round 3, the referee's count had reached 10. The winner by count out and still Super Middleweight Champion of Great Britain and the Commonwealth, Carl Frosch! Ladies and gentlemen, please show your appreciations, Tony Dodson! And I'll now ask the steward in charge, Mr. Tony Bean, to present the Commonwealth belt and the Lonsdale belt, which Carl now makes his own property. Ladies and gentlemen, the super middleweight champion of Great Britain and the Commonwealth, Carl Froch.